In this quick lesson, we're going to look at how to use AirTags, which are a new iPhone accessory from Apple designed to track various items. They use Bluetooth and other wireless tech to provide the ability to view their precise location when nearby, as well as a general location when far away. AirTags are about the size of a half dollar. They cost $29 each or $99 in a four pack from Apple. They can be purchased with custom engraving. I have the four pack here, two with my initials and two with TMU for the Mac U engraved on them. AirTag setup is super easy. Just unwrap the AirTag from its plastic and as you do, a tab is pulled from the battery. That powers up the AirTag and it beeps. It's now ready to be paired with an iPhone. I'm going to pair this TMU AirTag with an iPhone 10. To do so, just hold the powered on AirTag close to the iPhone. A panel will slide up and we can then assign the AirTag a name. We're presented with several default options or it can be given a custom name. I'm just going to assign this one the name Backpack. That associates this AirTag with the iCloud account that I'm signed into on this iPhone. AirTags are always managed and located in the Items section of the Find My app. I now have two of the four AirTags powered on and paired. The TMU1 AirTag with this iPhone 10, and the DS1 AirTag with my iPhone 12 Pro. Which iPhone you have can make a big difference in how an AirTag works. The iPhone 11 and later have Apple's U1 chip, U standing for Ultra Wideband. Having this chip in the iPhone allows the AirTag to be located with precision finding. So next, I'm going to move both AirTags about 100 yards outside of my house. As we can see, both iPhones recognize this. Each AirTag has been detected as being about 300 feet away on each iPhone. Tap the Directions button and the Maps app opens with directions to the AirTag. Notice though that the iPhone 12 Pro on the right has a bit more accurate location than the iPhone 10. Now for this example I just need to walk to the other side of my yard. And as I start moving the location of each iPhone is displayed on the map. As I get closer to the AirTags I'll switch back to the Find My app on each iPhone. On the iPhone 12 Pro, a new Find button has replaced the Directions option. This is because this iPhone has the U1 Ultra Wideband chip. So when I tap on that, the iPhone can sense almost exactly where the AirTag is. As I change direction, the arrow now on the display remains pointed directly towards the AirTag. And as I approach, the distance ahead is reduced. Basically, this leads me right to it. On the iPhone 10, this feature doesn't work, so unless the item is clearly visible out in the open, I would need to try the play sound feature and hope I can locate the AirTag that way. So that was a good example of finding an item that was fairly close by. But what if you left something a few or many, many miles away? In that case, your iPhone will remember the last location of the AirTag that it detected. But if your iPhone wasn't powered on, or the AirTag has moved, AirTags can use the hundreds of millions of Apple devices out there to connect to and ping the Find My network using Bluetooth. In these two screenshots, I've moved both AirTags about a half a mile away, while leaving both iPhones at home. So the location of the AirTags was updated only using the Find My network, not using the iPhones themselves. This took about 10 minutes for the AirTag's location to update. This means that if you lose an item with an AirTag attached in a populated area, it will almost certainly be located fairly quickly using the Find My network. But if you leave an AirTag in the middle of nowhere with little to no people around, it may not ever be located, unless you get near enough to it again for your iPhone to sense it. 
So AirTags can be a great iPhone accessory for keeping track of just about anything. But you need to keep in mind their limitations and what model iPhone that you'll be using with them. AirTags also don't come with a keychain or anything else to attach them to the items that you want to track. So there are a ton of AirTag keychain holders, cases, etc. available from Apple or on places like Amazon.com. Check out some of those links below. Thanks for watching.